Good afternoon everyone, it's Francis, your favorite amateur astronomer. We're looking at the test firing of the SpaceX Dragon rocket. It's 1.57 p.m. Central Daylight Time. Right now it says there are countdown sequence holding at T minus 47 seconds. This is the test firing of the SpaceX Dragon rocket. Set to launch the first week of May to the International Space Station. The first commercial flight, cargo flight to the International Space Station from an American commercial venture. Much of this is brought to you by funding from NASA, who paid a few companies more than a billion dollars. Uh, I don't know the numbers exactly. This may be the company SpaceX with a $1.9 billion contract to supply eight cargo missions, eight to 12 cargo missions to the International Space Station for NASA. 
in the retirement of the space shuttles from the American fleet of space vehicles. We are now watching commercial ventures putting up uh, their own rockets, supplying the NASA missions to supply the space station. SpaceX, like I said, is one of a few or more companies that have received contracts, bids, and have made uh, commitments to doing cargo liftoffs and supply missions for NASA. We're still at countdown sequence holding. T-minus 47 seconds. I do not know what the plan was for the uh, test firing. I do not know what the situation is. Hopefully someone will come on and let us know. 2.03 p.m. Central Daylight Time. It looked like they were going for a 3 p.m. test firing uh, on the East Coast. I believe this is a Cape Canaveral launch pad. See a lot of smoke coming out of the house in front. I don't know if that's cool gas air escaping. We haven't heard any chatter from Control. first found the feed I would have expected it to have been tested 2.06 p.m. Central Daylight Time 3.06 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time at the launch pad we ended uh, 2.59.13 for a countdown sequence hold still no chatter have about five minutes left of this video
here's a little information on off this feed. Um, following the test, SpaceX engineers will make sure that everything performed as expected and that the rocket is ready for next Monday's launch. Three days after the launch, the Dragon spacecraft is scheduled to begin the demonstration maneuvers that will eventually lead to the docking with the ISS. Only, in, only the United States, Russia, Japan, and the European Space Agency have sent spacecraft to the ISS. If successful, the SpaceX mission next week will fulfill several requirements from NASA to become a regular cargo transportation vehicle for the ISS, but SpaceX and Musk continue to emphasize that success is only one of the possible outcomes. Quoting Musk, this is a new rocket and spacecraft. He told us on our interview last week, quote, the docking system is being tested for the first time. Musk emphasized the complexity and risk involved in spaceflight last week, but he had the upbeat optimism of an industry veteran when describing the approach to success dismissing the possibility of fa failure as just another step. Quote, if something does go wrong, we'll fix it and we'll be back on it on a subsequent mission. SpaceX is one of two companies, along with Orbital Sciences, competing for contracts to deliver cargo to low Earth orbit for NASA under the Commercial Orbital Transportation System program. We have two and a half minutes left of the video. If no activity comes from control, the video will end. And I'll get this uploaded and update as to the results of this test or failed test of the SpaceX Dragon rocket. Slated for a next Monday launch to the International Space Station. Listen in today on freedomslips.com for my one hour science and astronomy show from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time in a little under two hours. A little under two hours when this video gets up you'll be able to hear me today on Revolution Radio. That's freedomslips.com. Uh, get the headlines including this quote unquote failed test of the Dragon SpaceX rocket. I'll talk about it. Uh, share with me your thoughts. Tell me what you found out. Tell me what's going on in uh, your research, and I can talk about it in future shows on Revolution Radio. Remember, every Monday through Friday from 5 to 6 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time on freedomslips.com. You have a great afternoon. I'll give you the update when this update occurs. It's 2.12 p.m. Central Daylight Time in Cypress, Texas.